Okay, Texas cat here. This is a statue to. This is a statue to Major Ripley Allen Arnold. He founded and command. He was the founder and commandment of Fort Worth. Ripley Allen Arnold. U.S. Army officer was appointed to West Point in 1834. Arnold was brevetted, was a brevetted major in, in 1846 for his role in the Mexican-American War. He served under General William Jenkins Worth through the Battle of Monterey. He was given command of Company F of the Second Dragoons after the Mexican-American War and ordered to the northern frontier of Texas to establish a military post at or near the confluence of the west and the clear forks of the Trinity River in May of 1849. On June 6, 1849, he established a military post on the Trinity River and named it Fort Worth after General Worth. Okay. So this guy picked the spot where I'm standing right now. American hero. Okay, American Indians. In order to promote peace and provide protection for the American Indians and the settlers, Major Ripley Allen Arnold, Company F, 2nd Dragoons, was ordered to establish a new fort on the West Fork of the Trinity River as part of a new line of forts on the Indian frontier. The American Indian tribes occupying this northern frontier were the Comanches, Caddo, Quiche, Kickapoos, Delawares, Apache, and other tribes. The final event which opened the Upper Trinity to settlement came after the Mexican-American War. The United States prepared to erect a chain of forts which led to the establishment of Fort Worth at the forks of the Trinity River on June 6, 1849. The settlers and American Indians came to settle under the protective arm of this military post, Fort Worth. All right. Giving you motherfuckers a little history here. This is Texas Cat. In order to promote frontier expansion and settlement on the northern frontier, the Texas Congress granted permission to give free land to settlers to homestead, make new lives, and raise their families in 1836. The pioneers arrived on this frontier prior to the construction of Fort Worth to build homes and businesses. Others followed during the time the fort was built. Each head of family who settled received 640 acres and a single man of 18 years of age or older received 320 acres. acres. Building close to the military fort made the settlers feel protected to live and farm on the land. The 1850 census showed approximately 800, 680 settlers scattered in the area around Fort Worth. When the fort was closed in 1853, settlers began to occupy some of the abandoned buildings and turn them into a school and businesses, yeah, and which became the actual city of Fort Worth. I'm over here on the Tarrant County College uh, downtown camp campus, that's where this statue to Major Ripley Arnold is located. The fort, if you can see that, here's the actual original look of the Fort Worth. Fort Worth was a military post established in 1849 now, let's see, I've already done that shit. Fort Worth, you know. Fort Worth, like all U.S. Army posts at the time, was built around an open parade ground with a flagpole near the center. Major Arnold's headquarters were a tent and his command camped around him. On the north side of the parade ground, closest to the river, the soldiers built two barracks as living quarters out of logs. Behind the barracks stood cookhouses and cabins for the laundresses. Laundresses. On the south side of the parade ground, the soldiers built three sets of officer quarters. On the west side of the parade ground, the soldiers constructed a cabin that served as the post at Junkin's office. 
The hospital stood next to the adjunct's office. On the east side, the men constructed stables, a guardhouse, and storehouses. So that thing right there ended up becoming the city of Fort Worth. And you can see a little bit of Fort Worth here, not much. But yeah, there's the guy that created what became the city of Fort Worth. Major Ripley Allen Arnold. Hero. War hero, motherfuckers. Like, subscribe, and comment. Texas Cat out.